Now, Gabon has been ruled by one family for more than five decades, but that could all change this weekend as more than half a million people go to the polls in the country's presidential election. The outcome could end the presidency of Ali Bongo. Now, Bongo's main rival is the former chairman of the African Union Commission, Jean Ping, who accuses Mr Bongo of being a threat to democracy. There are also fears that the results could bring about the kind of unrest that followed the last elections in 2009. Well, Kamisa Kamara is a senior program officer at the National Endowment for Democracy and joins us now from Washington. Kamisa, good to speak to you. So uh, the people of Gabon have got the choice, among others, of between the son of a former president or the former son-in-law of the president. Now, nepotism seems to be alive and well in Gabon. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Not much of a choice, so, is there? Um, like you said, well, you know, uh, so like you said, the country has been uh, ruled by the same family for uh, half a century, and uh, Jean Ping, who is the main opposition uh, uh, candidate, is um, portraying himself as a being a new person, uh, somebody who will uh, embody a new Gabon, which is actually not the case because he was uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs of uh, Bongo Father for almost 10 years. He married his daughter, uh, so he is um, uh, officially the former uh, brother-in-law of the current president. Uh, he uh, has two children uh, from the Bongo family, so is he a new person? Probably not. It's going to be a difficult choice for the people of Gabon. Now, the economy often plays a part in elections around the world. And, of course, Gabon relies a lot on oil. And the price of oil, as we know, has been plummeting recently. Now, how much is that affecting what's going on uh, in politics there in Gabon? I think that um, Ali Bongo has promised to diversify the economy when he was elected uh, uh, seven years ago, and he has not uh, managed to do so. I think that in the current uh, situation where uh, the oil prices have plummeted, I think that uh, the next president, whoever it is, will not have a choice uh, but to diversify that economy in order to make sure that Gabon um, still has the revenue that it was enjoying before. And how does that diversification work? To what other industries can they go to try and gain revenue? Well, Gabon is a country that is rich in natural resources. Um, I know that there have been discussions about um, uh, selling timber uh, because Gabon is rich uh, in timber, so that, that could be a start. Now, uh, there is a worry, uh, as often reported around elections, especially uh, in Africa, that violence could take place after the vote if the result is not uh, what's expected. Now, is that justified in any way? It is always justified, especially when you're um, uh, holding a controversial elections that is perceived as not free and fair. Um, in Gabon, the Electoral Commission, most of its members are um, appointed by the government, um, and the elections are run by the Minister of Interior, uh, which is a government ministry. So um, whenever the people feel that their votes are not going to be taken care of, um, I think there are risks of violence. So nobody really knows what is going to happen. We'll wait and see what happens. Uh, Kamisa Kamara from the uh, National Endowment exactly. for Democracy, we thank you very much for joining us.